This morning we're going to learn how to create a collection in MongoDB. Now similar to T-SQL, there are a couple of ways in which you can create a table in T-SQL, one of which is to actually define the table, and another way which we create tables a lot in T-SQL is to just select star into, so immediately insert into a table uh, that doesn't exist and it is created on the fly. So let's look at our databases here. Oh, and of course show databases and we see that we don't have the database SQL N6 so let's go ahead and SQL, actually I'll just do this all in lowercase, SQL N6 and I'm going to first of all demonstrate how to create a collection using the kind of explicit approach and that will be db.createCollection and notice that of course I am in the database SQL in 6 so very similar to, to T-SQL if you use a database and then you create a table the table will go under that database so we're going to create a collection and we're going to call this collection um, the Mongo collection and of course Mongo tells us okay one and we can say show collections and you'll see we have sys system indexes and we have the Mongo collection so that is an explicit way of uh, creating a collection of course now understand that there are parameters in the create collection one of the parameters is the name which we passed in but the other parameter as well is the options and so you can actually configure whatever you want configure specifics for the collection um, to either limit the amount of space used or to cap the amount of space used so keep in mind that you don't have to just create a collection this way you can actually you know add more specifics as well and there's nothing wrong with that um, doing that for instance you can cap its size or cap the, the maximum number of documents that it can hold all right now the other way to uh, to uh, open or sorry create a collection is to actually just insert information on the fly right and this is very very similar to select star into from table in T-SQL so what we're going to do in this one is we are going to insert data into the collection SQL Server and this as you see if we show collections we know that SQL Server doesn't exist okay and we're going to insert um, language and we'll say T-SQL and then we'll insert um, uh, let's say just say type and we will say uh, relational okay and so again as we know that this collection does not exist but we will go ahead and we will insert the document and then go to show DBS oh wrong one use SQL n6 and then uh, show collections and you will see now that we have a collection called SQL Server and we have a collection called the Mongo collection and of course we can also verify that because um, we have a document in SQL Server um, we can do db.sqlserver.find and we can then do dot pretty and you will see uh, that we have that value language of T-SQL type relational etc so uh, very similar to SQL you have a couple of options you have the explicit way which is to actually create the collection uh, like we did with Mongo um, we created the collection Mongo by specifying it and then you have the on-the-fly creation which is very similar to T-SQL where you will just go ahead I'm sorry it's very similar to the select star into where you'll actually insert data into something that doesn't exist and it will create it ad hoc and that's the implicit kind of ad hoc approach to creating a collection. 